Hello, Grade 12 STEM! We will now be having our continuation or the continuation of our discussion about identifying business opportunities. Now, our topic for today is about potential sources of opportunity. Where do opportunities come from? Now, we will be discussing seven potential sources for today. Now, the first one, we have the unexpected. When we speak of the unexpected, Opportunities can be found when situations and events are unanticipated. The event might be an unexpected success or good news or unexpected failure or bad news that can be an opportunity for entrepreneurs to pursue. Take note, unexpected situations could lead to opportunities. And when you speak of unexpected situations, this could be something which is good and something which is Bad. Now, the second potential source is the incongruous. Incongruous situations happen when there are inconsistencies in the way they appear. For example, there are opportunities to capture when conventional wisdom about the way things should be no longer holds true. In these types of situations, Entrepreneurs who are willing to think beyond the traditional approach may find a potential opportunity. Now, if you are an individual who always thinks outside the box, then, of course, it could also lead to opportunity. The third one is the process need. When we speak of process need, entrepreneurial opportunities could also surface throughout the process of discovery such as the process of research and development done by the researchers. Even before a breakthrough, there will be numerous opportunities which could be seized by entrepreneurs during the process. Take note that in our previous discussion, we had discussed about the importance of research and development. And of course, through research and development, we could also have source or it could also bring sources of opportunity. The fourth one is the industry and market structures. Changes in technology, social value, and customer's taste can change the structure of an industry and market. These situations, however, will give entrepreneurs opportunities to innovate their product or services. This is where innovation will come in because as what we had discussed previously, you know, there is actually a lot of opportunities when you embrace different innovations. Next one, the fifth one, we have demographics. Changes in demographics will influence industries and markets upon their target market and market segmentation. There can be entrepreneurial opportunities in anticipating and meeting the needs of the population. Now, demographics is also associated with a population. So the more you're acquainted with what the population needs, of course, the more opportunities will you embrace or will come into your way. Next one, the sixth one, we have change, private change. Perception is one's view of reality. Changes in perception get to the heart of people's psychographic profiles of what their values are, what they believe in, and what they care about. Changes in these attitudes and values create potential market opportunities to alert entrepreneurs. You have to take note, of course, the quotation, there is nothing permanent in this world except change. That is why the likes or the inclinations of your uh, audience or your target consumers will also change. That is why you have to be aware of their likes and as well as their dislikes. Next one, the last one, knowledge or new knowledge. New knowledge can be a source of opportunities for entrepreneurs. Examples of new knowledge are new technologies and new discoveries that can be sources of information for entrepreneurial innovation. Entrepreneurs who come out with new products and processes that can compete with other products can manipulate this kind of knowledge. New knowledge, you know, embracing things or new things because the more, uh, the more innovative your products would be, the more it will be bought by the 
consumers. So, that ends our discussion for today. Remember the seven potential sources of opportunity. The unexpected, the incongruous, the process need, industry and market structures, demographics, change, and of course, new knowledge.